Hi everyone, this is Eric from Dumb Game Dev. Today we're going to be looking at X Weapon Trail, as well as my custom playmaker actions for X Weapon Trail, which will soon be available. We're going to look how we can use it with Steam VR in Unity. And although this tutorial is a VR tutorial, you can do the exact same thing in non-VR. It could be a regular 3D game or it could also be 2D. All of this is supported with the X Weapon Trail as well as my Playmaker package. Let's just bring up Unity here. And I've created a simple scene just to get us started. And it's just a simple plane with a texture on it. I've got three primitive cubes stacked up. And I've got some rigid bodies attached to them. Now what we want to do is um, make the sword change its weapons trails uh, depending on the objects that we pick up. So for example, we pick up an object and we want it to have a fiery effect. We want to pick up an object, maybe have an ice effect or so on and so forth. We want to be able to do that without any programming. So we're going to use Playmaker to do that along with this asset. Now to normally set up the asset, it's fairly straightforward. And let's just see how we've done it here. And what I've done is I've set up the weapon here. You can see, it's a little hard to see, it's just uh, under the plane here. There we go. And it's nothing special, it's just a uh, sword from the Unity Asset Store. And it looks like this. And what I've done is I've childed it to the uh, right controller for Steam VR. And I've turned off the model so you can't see the Steam VR controller while I'm swinging it around because that's a little weird. Then what you're going to do is just open up the, uh, let's see here, where it is in my, okay, I'm already on it. So it's the X Weapon Trail. It'll come with the prefab, and you're just going to grab that prefab and make it as a child of your weapon. So you can see I already have one, two, three set up. So I'll turn those ones off and start a new one. Then you just choose the prefab and set the start point and the end point, and they're just in here. End point, start point. Let's zip that over there. So we have a red, blue, oops. I don't want to move the whole thing here. Start, end. There we go, that's it. Now we just go to the weapons trail and we can set the uh, color or different things. And that's it, we just swing it around. So I'm going to jump into Steam VR. I'm going to swing this around. We'll take a quick look right at this stage without any uh, changes in the settings at all. Now what you probably couldn't see through uh, the screen recording is this actually how fun and awesome that is to be doing that in VR. So this is a great asset for v VR, but even if you're not in VR, actually watch the uh, demo that was put out here by the X Weapon Trail, just their YouTube video. They also make it look really great and it, it just runs very smooth straight out of the box. But what we want to do is uh, be able to change it on the fly without any programming. So we want to be able to change the color or the stats without doing anything at all. So you can see right here, looks great. So how we're going to do that is maybe we're just going to create some cubes that we can um, pick up. And then once we pick them up, then we, we can change. So let's see how we can do that. So we've got our scene, we've got everything set up. I am going to create a, uh, let's just say a cube. Actually, let's do a sphere. Create a 3D object, make a sphere. There we go. And it's a bit big, so we're going to make it a little smaller. And... Okay, I'm going to give this sphere some kind of uh, material, something that's... I don't know, i got a lot of materials on here. Something that's a little less boring. What happens if we drop that on? Nope. Okay, let's just go with some metal here. So, 
just looks like this. And close all this up. And delete these old um, prefabs that we're not using here. So we just have our one weapon trail. Got our weapon trail. It's currently white. And let's add a Playmaker FSM to this object. And I'm going to make the sphere collider actually just a little bigger. Um, there we go. So we've got the collider a little bigger so we can easily pick it up. Right? And we need to check off this is a trigger because it's a trigger object. Now we can add a new FSM. And we're just going to call this uh, listener. So we're going to say just uh, wait for trigger enter event. And we're going to add a, a trigger event to this. And so this is pretty bread and butter playmaker stuff. So it's the first time you're learning it, that's good. If not, I mean, you should maybe already familiar with it. So we want to wait for something to, a trigger to enter this area. And we already have a trigger set up here on our left controller. And I, I've got it. Um, tagged as VR controller. So let's go back to the FSM. And so we want to collide with a certain tag. Oops. We want it to be the VR controller. And let's just add an event. You can call this whatever you want. I have actually spelt mine wrong. Let's just call this entered. Go back to the state, and so we're going to send an event when it gets entered, and we're just going to call it enter. So let's add this transition. So when there's a trigger event, enter gets fired, and it's going to fire off this event to the next state. And let's just call this uh, color change. We want to change the color of our of our sword. Okay, so we're going to go back to our action browser, and we're going to see that we have a category down here now called X Weapon Trail. So this is if you've downloaded my package, the X Weapon Trail uh, Playmaker package. Just click here, and let's change the trail color. So it defaults to black, but I want, for example, maybe it to be like a nice red color, a flaming red. And the object we want it to work on is not this owner, not the game object. We want it to change the sword, or actually the X weapon trail. So we're going to have to specify game object, grab it, and drag it on there. Okay. So again, before we do this, let's just review one more time real quick. So on my left controller, I have a... Um, left trigger area. So I have a tutorial on this. I'm going to leave the link to my tutorial in this if you want to see how I've set up this uh, collider on my left. Um, if you're using Unity straight out of the box and you're using say, like a third person controller, the third person controller will already have a collider on it so you can use that. But since we're using the uh, Vive in this case we need to set up a specific collider right on the controller itself. So that will trigger off this FSM, which is waiting for it. Once that's done, it's going to send it over to color change. Color change is going to change the color of the uh, sword trail. And then we should be good. Let's try it out. So now you saw that it was white, and we went over and we touched the cube here, and then it changed to be red. This is fairly basic, but it would be better if we could set up something kind of more awesome. So let's just extend this a little farther. So we have the sphere, let's call this the um, fire sphere. And we're going to uh, duplicate this sphere, playmaker, that's control D on the object. Let's call this the. Uh, I don't know, like a winter sphere. Okay. Let's click enter and let's just move this over so they're not on top of each other. So, uh, that should be good. 
Okay, and we're just going to give it a different material so we know them apart. Um, just see some like blue material here that didn't work. Okay, so it's just getting the reflection off the. Uh, that's why it's looking so red still here. So it's going to get a nice white blob here then. Okay. So we've got the red for the fire, the white for the winter sphere, and we can make it a little more complicated here. So let's go back to our swords, wherever we left it here on the right controller. And so now, right, right now we've got one weapon trail, so we'll call this weapon trail one. Let's duplicate it and make a second one. So we have weapon trail two. Now, oops. so by default, we're just going to have, um, let's just say we want one weapon trail on. We have this like basic white weapon trail, which is okay. But when we come touch this first sphere, we want it to uh, change to be red. And let's set up the second one. We can do this with Playmaker, but I'm just going to be lazy here. Let's make this slightly uh, different size. So make this a little bit um, here and here. So it's a little bit smaller than the other one. Okay, we'll turn that on so you can see. See, it's inside the other one. Okay, so when we get here, we want to change, say, the big one to a dark red. And we want to set the second weapon trail to a different color, because right now it's just white. So let's just go back to our actions. Set weapon trail. We're going to choose to use a specific game object. We're going to choose the second one. And let's set it to be sort of an orange color. So that should be good. So another orange one will be sort of inside the red one. But right now it's deactivated because we just have one weapon trail going on. We want a second weapon trail. So we need to, so uh, let's say, enable or maybe activate game object. That's it. So we want to activate this game object. Let's put that first. And which game object do we want to activate? We want to activate Weapon Trail 2. So after we touch this, it will turn on and we will have two Weapon Trails. So that's good. And they're different colors. But if we swing them around and they have the exact same settings on them, check the inspector, we've got the same granularity, the same frames per second, the same max frame. They're going to sort of just bleed into each other in the sense that they'll be right on top of each other. So we don't want that. We're going to change the... Um, Let's change all three of these. So we'll go back to the FSM and we'll just choose actions. Let's go back here to the weapon trails actions. We're going to choose the max frame, the granularity, oh, that's the material, um, and the frames per second. So we got all three. Okay, so frames per second, we need to specify an owner. Granularity, specify an owner. Material, let's remove that. And max frame, specify an owner. Okay, so we need to drop the owner onto all of these. We could save this in a variable and save ourselves some time, but I'm just being lazy here. So, okay, so they're all defaulted to zero. We don't, we definitely don't want zero. So let's lock this so we can keep looking at it while we click around. So it's set to 14. Um, as the max frame. So let's try, I don't know, so I say like 12. The granularity is like 60. Let's try like say 40. And the frames per second is 60. Uh, why don't we also try 40 and just see how that works out. Okay. So when this game runs and we touch this cube, it's going to change all of these. Now let's set up the second cube here, the winter sphere, and We'll just use um, one trail here. Let's change our trail to be white. No, how about blue? Could be sort of more wintry. And 
let's change the um, material. So it actually comes with a couple materials. We can make our own materials as well if we wanted to. Set the, the object. Let's change the material. And uh, let's see what the materials are called. The materials are called something like um, slash O2. So let's just find the slash material. Set material type slash O2. So let's try slash 1. And we're also going to um, activate. We don't want to activate the game object. We're going to deactivate the game object. So we're just back down to one weapon trail. So to deactivate, we're just going to uncheck this bool, choose the specified owner. We're going to deactivate the weapon trail to change color, change to this. And now let's do one last thing. Let's make it, uh, let's see what we can do with it. So weapons trail here. Let's, um, I don't know, let's just change the frames per second. Honestly, I'm not really sure what that's going to do for us, so let's give it a try. So let's try 90 frames per second. Okay, so that should do it for us. Let's just give it a try and see how that goes. Awesome. It's actually a lot of fun, and as you can see, we could set up this in a lot of different ways. We could set up a lot of different materials and stuff like that to give different effects. We could, you know, layer them so we have different layers. And of course, you know, our cubes, we could, or our spheres, these could be destroyed when we pick up. And, you know, maybe it would change the stats of our weapon and stuff like that. So, this is great fun. So, check us out in the Unity Assets Store.